afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this so today's vlog is mainly going to be like a try on haul for like autumnal pieces i love autumn so i'm super excited to get some new bits in my wardrobe i'm gonna try not to go crazy i'm gonna try and only get like a few things that i know will see me through a few seasons so i'm gonna go into central today and find some bits and i'm gonna take you guys along with me but i thought it'd be nice to get ready with you guys on camera and do like a quick 15 minute kind of makeup look i just want my skin to be a bit more fresh because my friend over here has come to stay around for a few days which is annoying unannounced guest but anyway let's just do some nice quick easy fresh makeup i'm just prepping my lips with the dermalogica lip complex renewal lip complex <laughs> it's not focusing but I'll link everything in the description box anyway. I've been really enjoying this lip balm. You guys know I've got like lip allergy issues. So that lip balm doesn't give me any sort of weird reaction and it's just really nice and hydrating. So I'd highly recommend that one. And then for my base, I kind of want to do something dewy. So I've got this Beauty Blur from Vita Liberata. I think I'll use this actually because my other products are more like highlighters i do also have the wonder glow from charlotte tilbury which one should i use okay i haven't used the vita liberato one in a while so i'm gonna use this i've got the shade medium dark latte and it says to be very sparing with it use very sparingly after moisturizing so i think this is one of those multi-use products which you could use before makeup on its own or as like a finisher on your like neck collarbone area that's added a really nice glow to my skin actually exactly what i wanted for my foundation i think i'm going to use bare minerals complexion rescue do you know what i always want to reach for this one the fenty beauty hydrating longwear foundation but the shade is really off like it's already dark for me and then it gets even darker throughout the day so I need to get a lighter one of this to mix in. I've got 255 here, which is too dark for me as a reference. But I think I'll just use Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue today. A tinted moisturiser. Put quite a bit on, didn't I? I'm gonna blend that in with my hands as well. Yeah, you really don't need that much. I put way too much on. Okay, I'm just going to dab over all of that with my beauty blender just to make sure there's no streaks. For my concealer, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away in number 7. I'm using this one because it adds a really nice coverage, but it's so hard to open every single time I've got it. Yeah, it adds a lot of coverage, so I always need to remember to just use a little bit because it's super, super high coverage, I feel that much should be enough the only thing i don't like about this applicator is that like now i'm going over my spot it's not very sanitary is what i'm trying to say i'm gonna use my tapered blending brush from look fantastic and i'm gonna use some wonder glow by charlotte tilbury straight from the tube and just a small amount on my cheekbones blend that in with my finger by the way, that rail is not staying in my room. I really don't like it here, but just while work's being done, it's to stay in my room. Okay, I don't think that was enough glow. I'm gonna use some of the Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter in Spotlight. Also from Charlotte Tilbury, just to add a little bit more glow here. Just setting that with some Rodeal Banana Powder. It's a pressed powder. I can't remember how I feel about this product actually, but I'll try it out again today. Oh, it's quite nice. Nice and brightening and mattifying. I need to set this bit because it gets really creased. And then for my blusher, I'm using a cream blusher. This is Coda Cupid Cheek and Lip Tint from Under the Stories and I really like this colour actually. I think it's really pretty and natural. 
And then for my brows, I'm not gonna use any product except clear brow gel. So I'm not like filling them in or anything. I'm just gonna keep it quite fresh and simple, like so. And then I'm gonna give my brows, I mean my lashes, a quick curl. Ah, I pulled out my friggin' lash from the root. Obviously, where else can Jeez, how the heck did that happen? I really don't recommend these. It's the first time I'm using them in ages. I think they're from Body Shop. These number seven ones are really good though. Like the curl these give is so much better than this curl. I'm just gonna give them a quick coat of waterproof mascara, not too much. Just literally enough to hold the curl. As I'm leaving my bottom lashes bare. And the last thing is filling in my beauty spots. Forgot this is the last thing, setting spray. Because I think with a lot of creamy, liquidy products, it, they can get quite creased quite quickly. So I think that's all I'm gonna do for my makeup today. I might put a lip gloss on or something. And then I'm gonna wear this dress that I got gifted from And Other Stories. Such a nice dress. It's this one right here. It's like a really nice wrap dress, but I think it might be a little bit chilly outside, so I'm gonna layer this with something. Let's see what it looks like in the end. So here is the finished look. So I thought I put my arm out the window and I think it's warm enough, so I'll just grab a leather jacket in case I need it, but I think I'll be okay. I paired the dress with these sandals also from Under the Stories and the jewellery I'm wearing is these hoops. These are also from Under the Stories, but they are no longer available. So I have some similar ones linked in the description box. My green necklace that you guys seem to really like as well. I love this necklace, it's one of my favourites. Then I've got these Lang rings from Cinco, and then this ring is also from Cinco. It's actually, I think it's supposed to be like a pinky one, but they didn't have a size that fit my pinky, so. But I really, really like it. It's really shiny and I love the gold. And I've got my Fendi bag and the sunglasses I want to wear today are these ones. They're these ones from Ray-Ban. And then, lastly, the fragrance I'm wearing is this one, Gardens of India. Sorry, I'm coming, Maria. Hello. The fragrance is Gardens of India. And basically, if you imagine, I was thinking, if you imagine this outfit was a fragrance, it would be this one. So it's kind of floral, kind of girly, but not too much. Like, it's still a little bit more... I'd say it's a little bit more sophisticated. It's very fresh and light though, so it's not like a heavy scent. So yeah, it's one of my very few lighter scents that I really, really like because I generally go for something that's a little bit stronger, but this one I love. I love a lot in summer, so yeah. It's by Parlez Moi de Parfum. Sorry, my French is very bad. Ooh, face mask. I need to not forget face mask. is end of the stories on Argo Street, Argo Street. Ooh, nice jumpers. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're getting a little juice break during the juice. Mari is getting the healthier option. I'm being myself and getting what I want. I got the energizer. Let's see how it this is good, it's very sour, but I like it. What did you get? I like sour. I got the So the guy in Going the Juice gave us gluten-free, sugar-free, what else? Free cake. <laughs> so it's like a chocolate. Is it like a brownie? I want to say it's almost like one of those no-bake kind of cakes. Mm. It tastes healthy. <laughs> it's probably got lots of dates in it. Mm. Good stuff. Selfridges as well. See what Chanel have. Not that I'm gonna get Chanel yet. Might actually. I'll see what they have. Ooh, this is nice. Really nice chunky knit. Done. So I'm just walking down to Selfridges now. I love that parking is free after 6 30. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk down and I'm gonna. I really want a Chanel bag. Now, I don't know, I go through bursts of really wanting one. So I'm gonna have a look at what's available. I'm also gonna go upstairs and see the trainers. I don't really want to splash on some, but I've just, cause I've got that joggers set, jogging tracksuit set. I don't know what you call it. Basically jogging bottoms and a hoodie. I really want to get some chunky trainers and just complete that really cool outfit. And also, I wear my Golden Goose trainers so much, so trainers are really my go-to footwear when I'm going out, so maybe I should just get some chunky ones. I said I never would, but I think I am going to. Okay, I feel a bit awkward now, so I'm gonna stop vlogging. Nusrath just bangs to another level. Anyway, so I didn't get any trainers and I had a look at Chanel bags, I really like them, but I'm not getting them yet. Like, this is the salad I got, it's really good. It's by, I don't know what that place is called, but it's basically a little, not even a stand, a little section in the Selfridges food hall. Oh, sun-dried tomatoes. Mmm, two of my favourite things. Sun-dried tomatoes and sweet potato. So good. So I got some of that one. And I got some of this one. This is more of like an avocado green standard kind of salad. So I got these two. I'm gonna have an accident on this white dress, I just know it. And then I also got a salmon teriyaki skewer. It was expensive though, all of this. Like 18 pounds or something. 
it was a skewer. But I'm all right paying more if it means, if it means getting good quality, nutritious ingredients. This looks so good. Sorry, I keep saying, showing you, showing you. <laughs> really good. If you guys should try it when you're inside for this. You guys saw how much I started with. And just that much is 420. So that was like one scoop that he put in and then in the green salad he put in two scoops and that was eight pound 26. oh it is cold so it's a little bit pricey but yeah now i'm just gonna go home i've got a video to edit finalize rather and just upload that to youtube and do the thumbnail get that ready for tomorrow i'm gonna go live tomorrow because it's too late now and then I also need to do some stories. And then what else? The try on stuff I will do tomorrow morning because I kind of want daylight for that. Also, I'm just so tired right now. Lots to do when I get home and tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys. Good morning. It's the next day. So I thought I'd go subtle with my makeup today. And then I picked up the wrong blending brush. I thought it was clean. It was not clean. And then this kind of happened. Then I just went with it and then I did a dark eyeliner. But I guess it kind of worked because I'm doing autumnal fashion stuff, try on, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna try some stuff on now and then I'm gonna put daily in my hair and then have a shower. Sometimes I really think I live a double life. There's like the really dissy girl in me that just loves a good hair mask, loves roti salon and lassi and all of that and loves Asian music. And then there's the like, you know, London city girl, love buying new clothes and trying out makeup and hair stuff. But anyway, that's just me. So I don't know what to do with my hair. It's such a mess. Ugh. I literally cannot go two days without washing my hair. Otherwise this happens. So freaking annoying. This is after dry shampoo. I don't know what to do. Should I put it in a top knot or like, ugh. anyway, just excuse my hair while I try on the clothes for you. Also, before we get into it, the hoodie I'm wearing, because I get questions about this on Instagram, my hoodie's from And Other Stories. I got it last year and it was sold out for ages and now they've just brought it back. So if you like it, I would suggest getting it soon because it went out of stock pretty quickly last year. So I'll link that in the description box along with all of the items that I'm going to show you guys now. Okay, the first thing I picked up is this Coward blazer and trouser set. I saw this online and I linked it on my Wednesday wish list. I think it's really nice, but my trousers are way too tight. I thought a 36 was a UK 10, but I think it's a UK 8. And your girl put on some weight during quarantine. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys what it looks like on anyway. I think it looks better on the model, personally. And then I thought I sized up for the blazer, but I didn't. This is like a size 10 blazer. I should have got a bigger size for the blazer. But yeah, I'm not feeling it if I'm honest with ya. And like, you know, the shorter lapels and stuff. I just, I think on my body, this cut and everything is not working. But let's see what else I have in here. Okay, let's try on these trousers because they look so good. They're like a stretchy material. They're like a nice wide leg trouser and they've got a little bit of elasticity. This should be a good fit. What size did I get these in? Got these in a 38, thank God for that. So they look pretty good on. If I had like an office job, I would definitely keep these just for the comfort factor. They're very stretchy, so they'd be very comfortable after like a big lunch. And another thing I love about them is that the zippers on the side, so, I mean, for my body, because I've got quite big hips, I don't like the zipper at the front. I feel like it makes me unnecessarily bulgy in this region and I don't need that extra bulge. I've got enough going on already. So um, yeah, I love that the zipper's on the side. It kind of sucks you in a little bit more. And yeah, the leg length is not my favorite. I, I wish it was a tiny bit longer, but I mean, you know, with longer leg trousers, they can also be a bit of a hassle because of like the rain and stuff like that. So at least these would be nice and appropriate for the office, I feel. Yeah, I like these. So yeah, I don't think for like my lifestyle and what I like to wear, generally this wouldn't work for my wardrobe but i do think they're a good find if you work in an office and if you like roomy 
trousers. Okay, next I got this very oversized kind of tracksuit. Is that what it's called? Jogging bottoms and a hoodie, a matching one tracksuit, I think. So yeah, this was heavily inspired by Alexis Foreman on Instagram. She was wearing a really cool oversized set from, I think, oh, I don't remember the brand, but it was like a an independent kind of brand that's in East London. So I was actually thinking of ordering one from there. I still might do that. But I saw this one in Under the Stories and I just thought, I love this. I love that it's black and I just love that it's so structured and thick and it's one that you can wear outside and it still looks really good. Like it reminds me of Chinese street style, that kind of really oversized high fashion vibe. I just need really cool trainers to go with it. I don't think my golden goose ones are gonna cut it. I think like chunky trainers would look really good with this, but I'll see. Needless to say, I am keeping this. Love, love, love the fit of this one. They also have some like gray jogging bottoms that are also very structured and baggy looking. So if you want some gray ones, I'll link those ones in the description box. They have a hoodie as well, but I don't think the hoodie and the jogging bottoms match, but they're both gray. So, okay, sizing, I got the trousers in a small and then the hoodie I wanted extra oversized, so I got that in a medium and I love this. Can you imagine like a really cool shot of me just chilling in central, walking, oh yes, love, love, love. Also, I don't think I mentioned, the fabric kind of reminds me of that scuba kind of material. So it's very thick, which is why I think it will hold its structure very well but it's also very warm so it's perfect for this kind of transit well not transitional it's perfect for autumn winter love this okay next we have a very anim autumnal outfit so the jumper has a really high neck but i've just put it down because i feel like i don't really have a neck so if i want to wear a high neck it's got to be not that high but this is what it looks like if you don't roll it up also if you do this it kind of gets makeup on it and stuff but it looks very chic and then the jeans are like a straight leg denim. I really needed some more jeans, so I think I'm going to keep these ones. I think I'm going to keep the jumper as well. It's just a really nice fit and very nice quality. I love how the sleeves are like slim and I like where the jumper cuts off as well. So yeah, I think it's very cool. So yeah, love this outfit. And then I got another pair of jeans from Stories as well. Okay, so I just checked. These jeans are slim and the other ones I got are straight. So these ones are going to be a little bit less fitted all the way down. But they still look really good and they're a darker denim wash as you can see. So let's try these on. Okay, these are the straight leg. I don't know how I feel about these. I think they're a little bit too wide all the way down. Yeah. They look kind of cool, but I think I prefer the slim more. Those ones also have 1% elastine. These ones have 0% and are just 100% cotton, which is very good. But I think I like a little bit of stretchiness, um, just to suck me in a little bit. And they're also a little bit loose. Actually, they're fine. But yeah, I don't, I don't love these, if I'm honest. I'll give you guys a closer look. And then the last thing I picked up was this cardigan from Mango. I only picked up one thing from Mango, but I really like this. I think it's perfect for this kind of transitional weather where you don't really know if it's going to be windy all of a sudden, chilly all of a sudden, it's going to be hot. Um, you can just whip this off if it gets too warm. Um, I would recommend wearing a body underneath this. I've got a vest on because I don't know where all my body... Oh, I know where they are. Okay, anyway, I've got <laughs> a vest on. So I think this kind of slouchy card... Well, it's not that slouchy, but wider cardigan looks great with something fitted underneath as opposed to like a looser fit t-shirt so yeah i would pair this with a body and that way i can take it off as well and then i've got my jeans on from stories and i really like this cardigan i just think it looks so nice and put together and clean i love that it's got no fastening as well i just think super chill and very versatile you can wear this a ton of different ways 
Actually, can you wear this a ton of different ways? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, I can pair this with heels, with trainers, and like loads of different types of jeans. And these jeans as well, I feel like you can pair with lots of different outfits. You can wear it with an oversized white shirt, you can wear it with like a cropped t-shirt, loads of different ways, and I think they would just elevate your outfit to a more kind of chic vibe. I think slim leg, straight leg jeans are a lot more kind of stylish than skinny jeans now. So yeah, I really like these jeans as you can tell and I really like this cardigan too. So yeah, that's all of my autumn transitional haul. I did want to get some pieces from H&M but I just didn't find anything in that Oxford Street store. So I might pop over to H&M sometime the next week or two and see what they've got available. I really want to get that scarf coat situation that I showed you guys earlier. I love that and I think you guys are really going to like it too. So I want to see how I can style that and yeah, so... That's all for this video. I think it's going to be a really long one, so I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me because I know you guys love my Pakistan vlogs, but I'm not going to be going to Pakistan anytime soon. But yeah, let me know of any other kind of videos you guys want to see and I will try my best to get those out for you and yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram i've got a bunch of different kind of outfit fashion kind of content on there and hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye